like uh, Walmart making its move into South Africa. How about that? All right, it's 815 now, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, mistakes to avoid if you are a job seeker, if you're between jobs, and I'm sure the temptation might be to spend less or make cutbacks here. And there, Brad Cooper joins us from Innsweb. Good morning, Brad. How are you? Thanks for having me. Thanks. Uh, we're going to talk broadly about insurance and, and finances when you're tempted to make cutbacks. Right. And uh, help us out here. We're going to let's start a little bit with uh, our insurance for our homes. Right. So uh, important thing to think about when you're talking about insurance for your homes is to make sure that when you're in the situation where maybe you're changing jobs or you're out of work for whatever reason, that you really take a look at the coverage and look at options. So when you think about your insurance coverage, it's not always the best option to drop your coverage altogether or to reduce your coverage, but you may have other ways in which you can save money. Now, does that mean uh, change my deductible, lower my premium? Are those, are those possibilities? Absolutely. Okay. So your deductible is always a good way to, to, uh, to lower your insurance costs without sacrificing your coverage. So you might be able to save a little bit on your monthly costs, not reduce your coverage, so that way if something bad does happen, you're still covered. Yeah, and we should say, of course, you have a vested interest in having people continue to purchase insurance, but I mean, that's really good advice. You do not have to let your policy go, right? Exactly. Yeah. You, you know, letting your policy go is really a last resort. You understand that people in, in certain situations may be at their last, you know, at the end, but before you get there, there are options. Yes. And talk to your insurance professional, make sure you're making the best yeah, decision yeah, for you. Yeah, before you wave the white flag, make exactly. sure you, ha you have options. Uh, I, given that I have a career in the media, on a number of occasions have been between jobs myself, right. and my biggest concern always with me and with my family has been my health insurance. Right. Your health insurance, there's, there's really a couple things here. The first is, is that COBRA is a great option for many, many individuals, yet it might, it's not the only option there may be a better option for you. Okay, and an individual health policy may be the way to go. Yeah, let's talk about that. For those who don't know, COBRA, this is the federal government requiring your employer to still have your policy available to you, but you come out of pocket for that. And for those who have not been in that situation, I mean, if you're a family of four, you're looking at well over $1,000 a month to continue your policy, right? Exactly. And the way that we look at it is that if you and your family or dependents or whoever's on that policy are individuals that frequent uh, the hospital, you have a lot of medications, the COBRA might be the best bet. Yeah. However, if you're you're healthy, you may not go to the doctor all that much, you and your dependents, take a look. You can buy an individual health policy for you and your family, and then you can weigh the, weigh the options of uh, that cost versus the cost of well, continuing. And again, with deductibles practice. and whatever choices you make, you can get the cost down quite a bit. Uh, we're we're going to run out of time, but I do want to talk about um, the uh, credit score as you're in between jobs and protecting that as well. Yeah, credit score is much more important. This is a, you know, a, more of a, for a national base. Sure. Uh, however, in California, your credit score can be used to determine what kind of payment plans you might be eligible for. Outside of California, it's also used to determine the actual rates that you pay. So it's really important to make sure that you uh, continue to maintain a, a healthy credit score and do everything you can to keep it as high as possible. Drop, does dropping an insurance policy affect your uh, credit score? Dropping insurance policy does not affect your credit okay, score. Okay, no. okay, but uh, not paying those bills does, doesn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. Know, and, and, uh, we don't want to laugh about it. We know a lot of people who are in tough situations. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Brad from Innsweb, thanks very much. Innsweb.com, a good way to find you? Absolutely. There you go, Innsweb.com, and thanks for the good advice this morning. Thank Back you. Eight eighteen. how are you this morning? How about that? Yes, again, waking up with all that gray.